The number is staggering. 10,000 ISIS fighters killed so far in the U.S.-led war. But if this death count has made it dent, it's not showing at all. ISIS has just taken over a dam near the key city of Ramadi, shutting it down and preventing water from reaching two key towns. Their goal to, quote, kill people of thirst. Joining me now, senior military analyst and retired Lieutenant General Mark Hurtling. General, always great to have you on. Thanks, Brooks. Good to be with you. So, uh, you have ISIS seizing territory. We're talking about this dam. I mean, when you hear this number, 10,000 dead, what, what does the figure matter to you? Well, it doesn't. And uh, what I would say, Brooke, is any military uh, person that's in command or in charge of operations will tell you it's, it's not relevant. Uh, it's important, but it's not relevant. And what I mean by that is it's an interesting commentary on what success is going on, because there are certainly a lot of battles where a lot of ISIS soldiers are being killed, but unfortunately there's a lot of Iraqi security force soldiers being killed as well. Um, so why put we it out there? Yeah, I, I don't know. And truthfully, I cringed when I heard it because this is not the first time this has happened. Uh, you know, there have been State Department officials in the past, and Mr. Blinken is a terrific guy and he's a great uh, deputy secretary, but it's not helpful to the military cause to give body counts like this. Mm -hmm. It's an indicator that success is occurring, and, and I, I, I think it's to counter the narrative that is prevalent mm -hmm. today that ISIS is winning and gaining territory when in fact they're not. They are having some battlefield successes in Anbar provinces, but there are a lot of other areas throughout Iraq where they are being beaten badly. Well, what about this? This it appears to be a gain. I mean, the, the Mosul Dam, right? Um, they, they still have it. They're threatening to cut the, the supply to 1.7 uh, million people, and there are fears that th that could create, you know, a flooding across across part of the country. So what, what would the dangers, General, be, you know, posed by ISIS taking this dam near Ramadi? Well, there are several dams throughout Iraq, Brooke, and what I tell you, their strategy is to try and gain access to them for two reasons. First of all, they gain the hydroelectric power to the various cities. The dams out in Anbar province, the one in Ramadi, the one at Haditha, uh, control most of the, uh, the western portions of Baghdad's electricity, which is uh, per scurious at best and on a good day. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the dams in Mosul, can, or the, the Mosul Dam that people talked about last summer, control that in, in uh, the northern areas of the country. But the second thing it does is there, there is a, a beautiful irrigation canal system within Iraq that dates back thousands of years. When mm -hmm. you control the water supplies, you control the food supplies. And we're getting ready to go into growing season. We've seen this before with Al-Qaeda. They would actually take uh, water sources, fuse uh, canals shut so it would direct water in to the Sunni areas while misdirecting it away from the Shia areas. It would cause more tension and it contributes to the civil war.